now we've come to a lesson where we're gonna start typing in or adding in macros from scratch and we're gonna do it right now so we know that when we script or when we record a macro it just scripts on its own so what we're gonna do is just first off open up VBA or VB which we already use this is the previous formats or previous records which I've been doing so we don't need that because we're gonna start from the basic or we're gonna start from scratch right so firstly what I'm gonna do first is just add another module so when we do is go to insert and then add another module to start from scratch so what I'm gonna do is just click on module and now you can see that there is another module which is named module 2 now what I'm gonna do is add in the procedure what type of macro it will be okay so to start it what we're gonna do is just go to insert again and then click on this procedure and you can see that this interface opens up and you can see that there are two types or two kinds of things or which you have to select from it is the type and the scope so the type is the type of macro you're gonna be using we know we've been using sub macro for like the whole basics because this is the basic of most of the macros which are being used and by formatting and adding text and doing whatever you want and then just reapplying it on your Excel sheet so we mostly use sub okay so even if it's like a really large macro even if it's like a small macro you can just use sub but you can see that there are two more options which are function and property so the function type of procedure is where you're gonna add like a lot of functions where we're gonna add in or make a change to the default functions of Excel or maybe even change the formulas you might think that okay let's give you an example an example you have a sum which I've talked about in the previous lessons an example you have a function called sum right and then if or ifs right left mid you can just modify any of them by using this function type of procedure and then making the macro on your own and the properties is the verb right I've told you about it the verb so you can just change whichever type of formats you want just by opening up a property type of procedure now you can see that there are public and private so this quite is like basically if you create a public type of procedure it's gonna be usable in every site or every people or whomever you want to give this sheet to or you share to okay but private is just gonna you you're gonna be able to use that macro just for yourself okay and now you can see that all local variables are statics just ignore this and what I'm gonna do is just stay on sub and public now I'm gonna name the macro which is gonna be GHG or whatever or first macro okay let it be just first macro what I'm gonna do next is just click on OK okay my bad what I'm gonna do is just name it first F I R S T first macro what I'm gonna do is just now you can see that the first macro or this module has started now what I'm gonna do is start adding in the codes as this is a lesson for adding or doing macros from scratch so what I'm gonna do is just add in some codes so we know the procedure which is object definition which is adjective and then its work or the verb okay so what I'm gonna do first is select a cell so what I'm gonna do is First off, I'm gonna do is C O L S calls. Okay, now open up a parenthesis. Calls, which is columns, or add in rows, whichever one prefers to be good to you. What I'm gonna do is just add in. Okay, let's just start off by creating a row. Rows. Now I'm gonna do is add in a parenthesis. Now I'm gonna do is select whichever cell I want to start off with. So I'm gonna do is just start off with one is to one. 
my bad you have to add in double quotation or it's not gonna work add in double quotations now close the parenthesis now you have to use this dot and then what we're gonna do is insert okay insert now the first code is done you can just click on it or maybe just run it okay so you see that it actually works and you can see that it's actually worked right so as it has been done you can see that there is a new row over here so I'm gonna do is add a column calls okay which is gonna be column ls open parenthesis I'm gonna do is also add one is to one is to one and close the parenthesis dot insert my bad insert okay just run it again so you see you will see that this has a problem columns did it work now you can see that there is a column okay one is to one now what I'm gonna do is just add in some headers okay to add in some headers what we're gonna do first is just click on it here and then start adding the headers what we're gonna do is also delete the call command or okay so what I'm gonna do is just add in again and you can see that this is the thing which goes on and on and again because the cells are this is only running over and over again so however or how much you're gonna type it's gonna just start on going and going so what we're gonna do first is select the range this time and add in the text okay so we're gonna do is range now you can see that this is range okay now just click on this and then select the cell now I have it on 5 okay a5 just double quotation a5 okay so I'm gonna do is double quotation again and end the cell or close the parenthesis now I'm gonna do is the value okay the value I'm gonna do is equal equal now what I'm gonna do is add in the text let it be injury location my bad what I'm gonna do is just run it it's a syntax error but you don't have to worry about it that much but because we're gonna just add in you can see that all the time you have to just use this double quotation okay so what we're gonna do is just add in the double quotation right over here just add in double quotation go to the end add in double quotation you can see that there is a space let's just run it to see if it actually works if there's a problem just start on making or whatever you're doing is this right okay now you can see that a5 has it but when you run it over and over again so it just goes on and on so what we're gonna do is just delete the sheet and start off over again so what I'm gonna do is add in the value or maybe just get one of it okay control C and then just go to sheet 9 paste it and now we're gonna just use the VB now you can see it's done what I'm gonna do is just click on now this is not a5 so what I'm gonna do is a one now I'm gonna add in another header which is gonna be range again open parenthesis open parenthesis from wherever you want it to be now I'm it's gonna be B2 okay B my bad it's B1 now what I'm gonna do is double quotation close the parenthesis dot value I'm gonna do is equal double quotation which is gonna be gender done range again for C1 
double quotation again, close the parenthesis, dot value equal double quotation. This is the age, double quotation again. My bad, double quotation to end it. Now I'm going to do is make these, okay, A1, B1, and C1. All of them should be bold, okay? So what we're going to do to make all of them bold is just, yes, yeah, select it again and then make them bold, okay? To make them bold, for first what we're going to write is grab in one of the row, okay? We're just going to do is as all of them are rows, so what I'm going to do is just add in rows again, which we're going to do is open it up and one is to one, okay? One is to one. You have to add in double quotation or it's not going to work. And you have to remember that when you're adding in these things or the formats, because the macro or VBA only understands logical functions or logical answers, okay? So it's either going to be 0, 1 or true, false. Most of the time it's just true and false. So what we're going to do is just click on value again. So the value will be, my bad, the, val the font, okay? It means now it's the adjective. So it's going to be font dot bold. Now what we're going to do is just click on equal again. Now what we're going to do is just add in true. Now what we're going to do is just maybe we can end it here but we can also deselect any of them whichever one you want. But you have to know that it's quite like important to like select and deselect or whatever you want to do but this is quite important or you can also add with starting with and ending with but we don't need any of them because well those are quite unnecessary but when you add in starts with or with on the first you have to end it with end with or it's not gonna work and it's just gonna end with an error so we're gonna do next is just select on like this or this right over here and then when we just run it or maybe like let's delete all of it or you can just like end it okay so now you can just test this macro which you created from scratch okay so as we did all of the works right now we're just gonna do is just run it and to see if it actually works you can see that it actually worked so now you can you know the basics or how you're gonna add in or do macros from scratch so we didn't go to advanced macro grammar or macro commands but if you want to like learn a lot more of macros or the macro commands you have to like stick on with the course and maybe get like do another course on advanced VBA then you will get them as this is just the basics I'm just gonna show I'm showing you just the basics of it like how you're gonna add in or start adding in VBA code or macros from scratch so now let's just move on to the next lesson so be so before like ending the macro or this lesson you have to like learn about the properties of it so we also know the properties to be a lot like adjectives, okay? So you have to like keep in mind that the values which you put right here does a really big difference in applying them or like using them in your Excel sheets or whichever one you're using. You can also just, we can, we could have also like recorded that macro or like command use that command to like do the aligning so now what we're going to do is just jump on to the next lesson